Peppa Pig Tales. Let's jump in! Woohoo! The treasure train is on its way! Choo choo! <laughs> Yay! Peppa Pig and Danny Dog are driving a train full of gold, silver, and broccoli! <laughs> is broccoli treasure? Yes. It's special broccoli made of sparkly diamonds. Pepper and Danny aren't really driving a train. They're using their imagination to pretend. Hooray! Stop! <gasps> In the name of... Um... Robbers! <gasps> oh, no! Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are pretending to be train robbers. Can we have all your treasure, please? <laughs> no. Oh, OK. <laughs> You're supposed to steal the treasure, Susie. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Now, Peppa and Danny are pretending to be police officers. They're going to catch the robbers. Hey. You caught us! No, we didn't. Because, um... Ha! Your mm. boat can fly! Whoa. Um, Madame Gazelle, can ships fly? Real ships cannot fly. Oh! But pretend ships certainly can. Hooray! Wow! Now Pedro and Susie are in a flying boat. Oh, um... <gasps> Our train can fly too! Whee! Yay! <laughs> Uh-oh! <laughs> hey! Police officers Pepper and Danny have almost caught the robbers. Daddy Pig! And he's coming to take you home! <laughs> Charge! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? We're pretending to fly our boats and trains, Daddy! <laughs> oh my! What an imaginative yeah! bunch you all are! Oh! Aha! Peppa loves imagining things! <laughs> Everyone loves imagining things! Peppa and Susie are pretending to be police officers. Nino, need police, we'll help yeah. you. <laughs> Thanks, police officers. You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino, Bye. Nino. Oh my! What is it, Madam Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> This sounds like a mystery. Ah. Don't worry. Me and police officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to Aha. find the special <laughs> pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you seen oh. the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well, we'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Peppa and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> It's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Peppa and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you remember? 
remember what colour the special pen is. Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue. Aha, uh -huh. you've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Pepper and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ah! Oh, but they can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. I have an idea. Now, Madam Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. When did you last see your pen, Madam Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning. Then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madam Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. We found it! <laughs> we solved the mystery! <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good police <gasps> officers. <laughs> <laughs> That car went really fast. Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look, and listen. All clear, no cars. Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Peppa. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Peppa is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Peppa. My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute. Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Oh, the red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh, so you're not a robber? Nope. Oh. Well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK. Bye, Peppa. Ooh. Great work, Officer Peppa. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man. That means we can go. All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Peppa loves keeping everyone safe. And everyone loves feeling safe. Today, Peppa is playing with her toy blocks. <gasps> Oop! Careful, George. This is a very small town and you're a very giant dinosaur. That gives me an idea. Do you want to play giants, George? <laughs> George is very excited to play Giants with Pepper. Hello, Police Officer Panda. What a lovely, quiet, normal day in Toyland. <laughs> and definitely no sign of... <gasps> Hello. 
Hello, I am Giant Pepper. <gasps> A giant! Two giants! <laughs> Pepper and George are imagining their giants in a pretend <laughs> toy block world. Hello, birds! Hello, clouds! <gasps> Hello, everyone! <gasps> Bear, our ball is stuck in that very tall tree. We can help you with that. We are very tall giants. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, careful, George. <laughs> there you go, Susie. Hooray! <laughs> giant Pepper and Giant George love to help their friends in Toyland. <gasps> they help the passengers wee! to get on the bus. Oh, wee! 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 and help the boats go very, very fast. <laughs> Stop! <gasps> it's the bridge you broke earlier. Oh. Don't worry, we can fix it. Pepper and George are experts with toy blocks. They fix the toy bridge in no time at all. Thanks, Giant Pepper and Giant George. Stop! Uh, I mean, go! Hooray! 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 Oh, goody! Yay! Hungry. I'm hungry too. The food in Toyland is too small for Giant Pepper and Giant George. Whoa! Dinner time! <laughs> So, they will have to have real food <gasps> instead. Careful, George! <laughs> <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are at a fun fair. <laughs> Hi, Peppa! Have you been in the fun house yet? What's a fun house? It's a special fun fair house that has lots of silly rooms and funny hallways. <laughs> Can me and George go into the fun house? Please? Please? Hello, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Two for the fun house. To enter the fun house, Mummy Pig must buy tokens from Miss um... Rabbit. But the tokens cost more coins than Mummy Pig thought. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig. Right this way. Hooray! <laughs> Ooh! This is the Rickety Rackety Bridge. Pass through to see the rest of the fun house. <laughs> Pepper is moving very slowly and carefully across the bridge. But George thinks it's fun to go very fast. <laughs> Your way is much better, George. Whee! <laughs> Congratulations! Now you need to follow the arrows. This way, George. <laughs> These mirrors are so wobbly. The funhouse mirrors make <laughs> Peppa and George look very silly indeed. This mirror makes me look so tall. And you look like you have a very big head, George. <laughs> that one makes you look really round. Round! And this mirror makes me look like Miss Rabbit. That's because I am Miss Rabbit. <gasps> <laughs> Follow me to the twisty, turny tunnel. <laughs> The Funhouse Tunnel spins round and round. Ooh! Whee! And it's very windy. <laughs> <laughs> Look! After the tunnel, we get to go down the slide. Slide! <laughs> I'll help you, George. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. I hope they're not lost. <laughs> How was it? 
The fun house was really fun. How fitting. Everyone <laughs> loves the fun house because the fun house is very... Today, Peppa and her family are going on the night train to a very far away seaside. It's bedtime now. We can play with the beach ball tomorrow at the beach. But I don't want to go to sleep. Well, we're not going to sleep yet. We're having a sleepover. Yay! Yay! Peppa and George <laughs> love sleepovers. Can we have a midnight feast? You need to have a midnight feast at a sleepover, Daddy. It's the rules. Right you are. Follow me. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone has come to the dining carriage to get the midnight feast. Hello. Oh. Hello. What would you like? We'd like a midnight feast, please. One. <gasps> midnight feast coming up. Here you go. Fruit and warm milk. Perfect before a good sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Everyone tucks into their midnight feast, gives their teeth a good brush, and gets comfy in bed. Can we have a bedtime story? Oh, okay, Peppa. Just one story, and then sleep. Hooray! This is the story of the magic night train. Ooh! Once upon a time, there was a magic night train which didn't need train tracks because it could fly. <gasps> Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> dream about a magical night train. Look, we arrived at the seaside. Peppa and her family have arrived at the very far away seaside and they all enjoyed their train sleepover. Today, Peppa and George are playing grown-ups. Oh gosh, oh gosh, where is my bag and my hat? We're off to work now, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what job do you think you'd enjoy when you're grown up? Dinosaur! <gasps> George wants to be a dinosaur. Hmm, I think I would enjoy being a dentist. Then I will make sure everyone's teeth are nice and healthy. Hmm, interesting. Uh, uh... Oh, 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 all right. You've got lots of clean teeth, Mummy. Oh. Here's a sticker for being so brave. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Who's next? <gasps> <laughs> Silly George. Dinosaurs don't go to the dentist. <laughs> They go to Dr. Hamster the Vet. Wow. But you can have a sticker anyway. Wow. I think you'd make a very good dentist. Dinosaur! Wow. <laughs> and you'd be an excellent dinosaur, George. But I'd also like to be a bus driver. 
Then I could take all my friends to the park. Tickets, please. Next stop, <laughs> the park. Stop! You forgot us. Come back. <laughs> vroom. Vroom. <laughs> <laughs> You have to stop at all the bus stops if you want to be a bus driver, Peppa. Oops, <gasps> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be a brilliant bus driver, Peppa. But I don't just want to be a dentist and a bus driver. I also want to be a teacher. Oh. <laughs> then I'll teach everybody how to paint. You can paint a butterfly using handprints like this. <gasps> Dinosaurs don't go to school, George. Perhaps you could open a school for dinosaurs. But when I'm grown up, I also want to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. And they will always love jumping in muddy puddles, even when they are grown up or dinosaurs. <laughs> Who's ready for an adventure to the seaside? Hooray! Yay! Peppa and her family are going out for the day. Oh dear, I think I forgot to put petrol in the car. Never mind. Let's take the train to the beach. Hooray! Peppa and her family are catching a train to the seaside. Tickets, please. We're going to the seaside. And Mummy didn't put petrol in the car. How exciting. <laughs> I love the seaside. I think it's time for some lunch. Pepper, <laughs> let's look for the dining carriage. <laughs> Daddy Pig and Pepper are walking through the train to the dining carriage. It is very wobbly. Ooh. Oh, this carriage must be for passengers who want to sleep. <laughs> Whoa! This carriage must be for people who want to play on the train. Wow! Hi, Danny! Hi, Gerald! <laughs> Whee! Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> this must be the cinema carriage. Excuse, Excuse me! me. Peppa and Daddy Pig have found the dining carriage. <sighs> this carriage must be for people who want lunch. Oh. Is that your tummy rumbling, Daddy? I'm afraid the train has broken down. Oh dear, we'll have to take the bus. Now, Peppa's family are waiting to catch the bus uh, to the ah. seaside. Aha! Uh -huh. ah. <laughs> Next up, the seaside. <laughs> the bus has broken huh. down. I think somebody forgot petrol again. <laughs> Now how will we get to the seaside? Well, we can walk. The seaside is just down the hill. This was the best trip to the seaside ever. I can't wait to see how we get back home. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun. Well done, Edmund. <gasps> this room has a balance beam. 
you have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George, Pepper and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. Whee! <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily! Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> this is the final Whoa. room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Today, Peppa and George have decided to dress up in Mummy and Daddy Pig's grown-up clothes. Gosh! What are these two grown-ups doing in our bedroom? I'm not a grown-up. I'm Peppa and that is George. Well, you both look very lovely. But why are you wearing our clothes? We want to choose our own clothes today. Whoa! <laughs> well, you do look very grown-up. But I think our clothes might be a bit too big for you. Yes, these are a bit too big. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> these clothes fit much better. Peppa and George have decided to wear their own clothes instead. <laughs> now, you need to make sure you choose the right clothes for the weather. Today, it is very sunny and hot. Oh! <laughs> Do you think those are good clothes for a sunny day? Um, no. They're a bit too hot. <sighs> and a bit too heavy. <laughs> Pepper and George have found some summery clothes to wear. That's much better. Now you also need to choose the right clothes for what you're going to do today. We're going to play group. But first, we want to jump in muddy puddles. Puddles! Oh dear. <laughs> Pepper and George aren't wearing the right shoes for jumping in muddy puddles. Do you think you should wear boots instead? I think we should wear boots instead. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho! Splendid idea! <laughs> Lovely! Are we ready to go? Almost! I just want to try on a few more things. Bonjour, children! Wow! What beautiful <laughs> outfits you have on Pepper and George! 
They picked them all by themselves. <laughs> I can see that. And those boots. If you want to jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots, Madam mm. Gazelle. Of course. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping in muddy puddles. I suppose it is lucky I brought my boots today as well. <laughs> today, Pepper and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness, we better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no, we're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> and there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. <laughs> So, we are here, and we need to get here. We can take the blue train first, and then... Take the red train. Yes, well done, Pepper. Off we go. First, Pepper must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Peppa. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Peppa. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> the train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train oh. is very, very busy. Why is everybody oh. rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Pepper. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! <laughs> Big celebrity coming through. Make way for the star, thank you. <laughs> no autographs today. Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! 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 Oh! Me! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go. And the brakes make it stop. And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn. Whee! It's just like riding a bike. Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, dear. I think I went a little bit too fast. Now... How do I turn around? 
<laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forward, Susie! Forward? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <laughs> Remember to use the brake, Danny! <laughs> Mummy Pig is having trouble making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Pepper is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Peppa. Oh, much better. Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go karts. There we go. Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. <laughs> Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa! We did it! Now we need to decorate the inside. <gasps> hmm, something else is missing. Oh! oh something, something to eat! eat. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course! I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. <coughs> wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. Uh, uh. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here. Maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue, so let's pretend it's... Cold! <laughs> There's the ball. Hooray! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. Oh, I can fit through anything. Uh, uh. Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. Uh, uh. Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> for you. Oh. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Peppa and her classmates are visiting a chocolate factory. Can I try some chocolate, please, Miss Rabbit? You can, Peppa. Yay! But we've got to make it first. <laughs> 
Oh. <laughs> Peppa is very excited to make chocolate. How do we make it, Miss Rabbit? With this machine. Hello, machine. Can you make me some chocolate, please? <gasps> Thank you, machine. Yay! Now can I try some of it, please? Not yet, Peppa. We need to decorate it first. Follow me. Hooray! Everyone is very excited to decorate the chocolate, too. You can decorate one chocolate bar each. Ooh, it looks like a muddy puzzle. <laughs> yes. But don't jump in it, Peppa. And you can add whatever decorations you like from the table as long as it's yummy. Mine is a carroty chocolate bar. <laughs> Squeak! Delicious! Mine is a cheesy chocolate bar. Squeak! Yum, yum! And mine is a spaghetti chocolate bar. Oh. Because strawberry laces look like spaghetti. <laughs> Phew! Scrumptious! Can I try some chocolate now, please, Miss Rabbit? Almost, Peppa. The chocolate needs to cool in the fridge first. The fridge is very cold and makes the liquid chocolate oh. harden into bars. And done! <laughs> Try some chocolate now, Miss Rabbit. Not yet, Pep. Oh, wait. Yes, you can. <gasps> Hooray! Delicious. <laughs> Scrum diddly option. Squeak. Hmm. Is something wrong, Peppa? No. I just really liked it when the chocolate was all runny like a muddy puddle. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Then it's lucky I have one more treat for you Yay! all. It's... <laughs> a chocolate fountain! It's just like a giant chocolate muddy puddle. And lots of nice healthy fruit to dip to. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Peppa loves muddy puddles, especially when they're made out of chocolate. <laughs> Yummy, tasty food. Today on the cruise, yum, Peppa yum. and her family are at a very special yeah. type of restaurant. This is a special type of restaurant called a buffet. Just take a plate and choose the food you want to eat. Enjoy! Oh, oh goody! The restaurant mm. buffet has lots of different foods to choose from. What would you like to eat, Peppa? Spaghetti is my favourite. Right you are. But we mustn't take too much. We can always come back and get some more. Oh, good idea. <laughs> and what would you like, George? Juice! <laughs> Thirsty, are you? I think we can rustle up some orange <laughs> juice. Let's see here. Aha! The orange juice machine is very loud. And it hasn't made very much orange juice at all. Oh. Juice! We'll just have to make some more. <laughs> Delicious! I can't wait to... Finished! Oh. Mm. <laughs> you were hungry, Pepper. Can I get some more now, please? Oh. Of course. Let's go. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is still trying to make George a cup of orange juice. Oh, dear. Could we have some more oranges, please, Miss Rabbit? Right away. Ooh. Peppa has found a very special pancake machine. Just one pancake, please, Mr. Robot. I can always come back and get more. Mm -hmm. Splendid! Aha! Granny Pig is ah. very excited to eat her spaghetti. Ah! Finish! Oh, thank you, Pancake Robot. But now, Pepper is thirsty mm. too. Can I get some juice as well, Granny? Of course. Grandpa Pig can get you some. 
I do wonder what's oh. taking him so long. Mm. <gasps> Grandpa Pig has finally made a cup of orange juice. In fact, Grandpa Pig has made lots of cups of orange juice. Oh. <laughs> the machine has finally stopped oh. making orange juice. Phew. Silly Grandpa. You don't need to make all the juice. You can always come back and get more. Peppa loves the buffet restaurant. Mm. And George really <laughs> loves orange juice. Watch out! Today, Peppa and her friends are at the water park. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Miss, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Before you all go swimming, I have some important rules to teach you. Miss Rabbit is telling everyone how to be safe in the swimming pool. The first rule is no splashing. <laughs> no splashing, Mr Bull. Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's OK, Mr Bull. The second rule is no running. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Mr Bull, no running Sorry again Mr Bull doesn't know any of the rules And the last rule is Everyone must have a simply splendid time Oh, oh Have a splendid time Mr Bull Oh, ho, ho, ho. right you are, Pepper. Enjoy the pool, everyone. What shall we do first? Let's go on the water slide. Hooray! Everyone is very excited to ride the water slides. <laughs> Hello again. Who wants to go down the slide? Me! <laughs> well, you're in luck. There is one slide for each of you. Let's have a race. Good idea. Lucky I brought my flag. On your marks, get set, go. And Danny Dog zooms into the lead, followed by Pepper. Then it's Gerald Giraffe and Susie Sheep coming up behind. It's incredibly close. Water slide racing at its best. Hello, Granny. Hello, Mr. Bull. Oh. 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 <laughs> They're nearly at the finish line. It's neck and neck. Who will come out on top? It's... Everybody wins! Peppa and her friends love the slides, but they have forgotten the first rule of the water park. Oh. Uh -huh. <coughs> no, no splashing! splashing. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. 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 Aha! There's one! Hooray! <gasps> Today, Peppa and her family have come to the shopping centre. Oh, perhaps we'll get out here. I'll park up and find you soon. <laughs> if I can find a space. They've come to the toy shop to find a gift for baby Alexander. There's so many toys! <laughs> now, what do we think baby Alexander will like? Hmm... <gasps> Maybe this basketball. Or this blaster. Pop, pop. <laughs> or this karaoke machine. <laughs> karaoke! <laughs> <laughs> These are very fun, but I'm not sure they're right for a baby. Then we'll have to keep looking. <laughs> 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 Daddy Pig has finally found a space in the car park. Oh. 
Oh dear. But the parking space is so small, he can't get out of the car. I'll just have to go around again. Whee! Whee! <laughs> what have you found, George? It's like the car park we were in. Car park! <laughs> George loves the toy car park. Baby Alexander does like cars, but I think he is too <laughs> young for this toy. Oh, what about this ball, George? No! Up, up, up! <laughs> or maybe this cuddly teddy? No! Whee! George doesn't think any of these toys are right for Baby Alexander. <laughs> what about this noisy rattle? <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. George only <gasps> likes the toy car park. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Look at <gasps> this, George. No. <gasps> for you. What a perfect gift for baby Alexander. We'll take it, please, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> I wonder where Daddy Pig parked. Whee! Hello, everyone. <laughs> everyone loves going toy shopping. Oh. <gasps> up, up, up. Up. But Daddy and George really love the car park. Whee! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are going to the sweet shop. Hello, Miss Rabbit. I'd like to buy everything in the sweet shop, please. Here is my coin. Peppa and her friends each have one coin to buy a sweet with. Here is my coin too. And mine. And mine. Wow, what a lot of money. But I'm afraid it's not enough to buy everything in the shop. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> One coin is perfect for trying my new sweet-making machines, though. Ooh. Just choose a machine, pop your coin in the slot and push the big red button. Mmm! Strawberry laces! Nay! But strawberries are fruits, not sweets! My sweets are made with delicious real fruit. Much tastier and much healthier! Yummy strawberries! They look like hair! <laughs> You're right! I've got a strawberry ponytail! <laughs> <laughs> my turn! My turn! Emily Elephant has found a rainbow lollipop machine. For this machine, you have to push the buttons to choose your favourite fruity flavours. Hmm. Yellow banana! Ooh, you love red apples! And pink raspberries! And blue blueberries! And green apples! <laughs> <laughs> you like all the flavours! <laughs> so fruity! <laughs> Look, it's a big binning ball! <laughs> That's a candy floss machine! Why don't you pop your coin in and give it a go? Mm, it tastes like coconut! <laughs> it looks just like you, Susie! And now it looks even more like you! <laughs> <gasps> what is that? Only one way to find out! I thought this was a sweetie machine, not a money machine. <gasps> Can I use this to buy some real sweeties? You don't need to. That coin is a sweetie pepper. It's a chocolate coin. Chocolate! Hooray! Pepper loves a sweet treat from the sweet shop. Everyone loves a sweet treat from the sweet shop. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. 
it squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. <laughs> My hands are tired. That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> It's just like jumping in muddy puddles. Well done, everyone. Now, follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. And how about this one? It's green. So... Apple! <laughs> Spot on, Susie. And this one? It's <gasps> lots of colours. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa. You've created a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice. <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting oh. room. It's where we make sure all the <laughs> juice tastes scrum diddly umptious. But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting <laughs> juice. This is orange uh -huh. juice. Mmm. <laughs> this is apple juice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This tastes like all the juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Pepper loves learning about juice. And Peppa really loves her delicious rainbow juice. Today, Peppa and her family have been at the supermarket. Outside the supermarket is a toy machine. Yay! Ooh! Mandy Mouse has got a toy. Look, Mummy! A yo-yo! Well done, Mandy. Peppa, George, would you like a go on the toy machine? Yes, please. How does it work, Miss Rabbit? You just buy a token and put it in the slot. Then a ball rolls all the way down to the bottom of the machine and there's a <laughs> special surprise toy inside. Dinosaur! George would like to get a dinosaur toy. How fun! You can have one try each. Here you go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> George's token makes the machine light up and play music. A ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. Whoa! Dinosaur! Oh. George has got a toy screwdriver. A screwdriver! How useful! Dinosaur! Don't worry, George. I'll try to get the dinosaur too. Now, Peppa's token makes the machine light up and a different ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> oh. Peppa hasn't got the dinosaur, but she has got some very nice stickers. Dinosaur! What lovely toys you got. <gasps> but look, our ice cream is starting to melt. So close. I have a feeling the dinosaur will come out next time. <laughs> Please, can we have one more go, Mummy? Please! Oh, go on then. <laughs> one more try. Hooray! Peppa and George pull the lever on the toy machine. 
But this time, no balls pop out. Oh. oh dear, I wanted to see what toy you were going to get. Not to <gasps> worry, Mummy Pig, I can fix it. I just need to find my screwdriver. Nope, nope. Screwdriver. <gasps> ah, oh, thank you, George. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, whoops! <laughs> Miss Rabbit has fixed the machine too much. Now all the balls have fallen out. I'd better put these back, but I think you earned this for helping me fix the machine. <gasps> Dinosaur! <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This is for you. Eh? <gasps> <laughs> Everyone loves the toy machine, and George really loves dinosaur. Hello, everyone. I'm Pepper, the dentist. I'll help you look after your teeth. Whoa! Today, Miss Rabbit has come to teach Pepper's playgroup about teeth. Pepper is pretending she is a dentist. <laughs> Got you. For you. Thank you, Pepper. Well, now that you've caught your teeth, <laughs> who knows what we can do to look after them? Um, um, go to the dentist? That's right. Who has been to the dentist before? Me, 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 me. Gerald Giraffe has not been to the dentist before. Can I show Gerald what it's like at the dentist, Miss Rabbit? I've been lots of times. What a great idea! <laughs> Pepper is pretending she is the dentist and Gerald is the patient. Hello, Mr. Gerald. Please sit on this enormous chair. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Dentist. Here is your apron. <laughs> <gasps> Why do I need glasses, Mrs. Pepper? For this big light. Please open wide, like this. Ah! Uh, so I can see your teeth. Ah! Uh. Pepper is using the torch to see Gerald's teeth. You have very nice teeth, Mr. Gerald. So you get a sticker. Thank you! <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Well done, Pepper and Gerald. <laughs> Does anyone know a way we can look after our teeth at home? Um, but, uh, we can brush our teeth. That's right, Susie. Brushing our teeth keeps them clean. Shall we practice brushing our teeth? Yes! Miss Rabbit is giving everyone toothbrushes so they can practice brushing their teeth. First, we get the brush wet. <laughs> Then we put some toothpaste on. Everyone is adding little dollops of toothpaste to their toothbrush. But Candy has added a big dollop. Now what do we do, class? We... Brush! <laughs> Remember to brush the front and the sides. Tops and bottoms. Oh. Well done, everyone. <laughs> everyone did very well today, so everyone gets stickers. <gasps> Peppa likes pretending to be a dentist, and Peppa really likes stickers. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the arcade. Well done! You got a high score. That's because Peppa and I are experts at all of these games. Look at all these tokens, Peppa. If you collect lots of these, you can trade them in for a huge prize. Wow, a prize? Squeak! Look at all these tokens! <laughs> can we play that game next? Of course, Pepper. 
Mummy Pig is showing Peppa how to play Carrot Bop. She is bopping the carrots whenever they pop up. Bop! 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 <laughs> Would you both like to have a go? Yes, please! Bop! Bop! Prize, Daddy. Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pig is playing the dancing game. Daddy Pig loves dancing. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert at dancing, you know. Your turn, Pepper. <laughs> 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 wow! Yay! <laughs> Phew, that was fun. But is there a game we can play all together? I know just the game. <laughs> Peppa and her family are playing a balloon game. Whoever fills their balloon with water first wins. another high score? Yes! Your score was so high that you have all won the jackpot! Now you can trade in all your tokens for a huge prize! Hooray! Let's go! Hello again, Peppa! Here are all our tokens. Can we please have our prize? Of course! With this many tokens, you can get a marvellous, extraordinary, one-of-a-kind pencil. Hooray! A pencil! Peppa loves winning lots of tokens with her family at the arcade. And Peppa really loves her brand new pencil. Whee! <laughs> it is bedtime. Whee! But George isn't sleeping. So neither are Peppa or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Oh! <laughs> story! Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Pepper! <laughs> um, yes, Super Pepper. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. <laughs> Until one day she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Dinosaur. Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Peppa tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely? Yes. Uh, excuse me. Mr. Dinosaur, sir. Excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> so relaxed. But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. She tried giving him cozy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five. That's everything we did. There's nothing left to try. 
The bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Peppa. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish the story? The very... hmm. Today, oh. Peppa and George are helping Daddy Pig tidy some old boxes. <laughs> What's this, Daddy? Ah, that's my trusty old camera, Peppa. You press the button to take a picture. Cheese. And it prints the photo out. Look, I can see it. Can I have a go, please? <laughs> Say cheese! Cheese! Now Peppa is taking photos with the camera. This camera is really fun. Camera! Have fun! But there isn't much photo paper left, so use it wisely. George loves taking lots of photos. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, it's run out of photo paper. Oh, but I love taking pictures. Hmm. Why don't we use my phone's camera instead? It can even add filters to a photo. <laughs> Daddy Pig's phone camera has given George a pretend moustache. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's take more photos. Peppa and George are having lots of fun taking pictures. The phone camera has given Mummy Pig a flowery filter. Say cheese. Oh. And Grandpa Pig has a very fine hat. <laughs> Peppa, George and Daddy Pig have come to the park to take even more photos. <laughs> Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Bird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say cheese, Mr. Bird. Cheese! <laughs> <laughs> what a funny photo! Daddy Pig wants to take a photo with Pepper and George <laughs> by the ducks. Say cheese, everybody. One, two, three, cheese! <laughs> Peppa and George are sticking all the photos from the day into a scrapbook. Look at this one, George. Bye! But some of the photos are blurry. Oh. The photos don't have to be perfect. They just have to remind you of a lovely day. Everyone loves taking photos, and everyone has had a very lovely day. Pretty cool, eh, Peppa? <laughs> Daddy, we're getting shoes for George, not you. Oh, yes. Today, George is <laughs> buying some new shoes. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We need some new shoes for George. George's shoes are very old. Well, you're in luck. The shoe shop has lots oh. of shoes. We'll find George the perfect pair. Hooray! First, we need to measure your feet. Pop your foot in the measurer, please. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is measuring George's feet to help him find shoes that are the right size. Your feet are very small. That's because George is a baby. <laughs> no. George is not a baby. Follow oh. me. <laughs> oh. We keep all our very small shoes over here. Which shoes do you ah. like, George? Shoes. <laughs> Those are bowling shoes. George <laughs> loves to oh. go bowling. And he oh. loves bowling <laughs> shoes. Are you sure you want those shoes, George? <laughs> shoes! Shoes! <laughs> those are tap dancing Aha! shoes. Aha! They're very noisy! <laughs> George loves to make lots of noise. Maybe too noisy! <laughs> Shoes. Uh -huh. ah. 
George loves clown <laughs> shoes. Whoa! <laughs> They're too big. And George is very small. Oh, uh, shoes! Shoes! George tries on lots of shoes. <laughs> Tall ones. Little ones. Yay! And even silly ones. But none of them are quite right. Shoes! Dinosaur! <laughs> They are slippers, George. They are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like <gasps> new shoes <gasps> that are just like <laughs> his old shoes. Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! George loves his new shoes and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. Hmm. Four tickets, please. Four popcorns, please. Four drinks, please. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are at the cinema. Peppa's favourite book has been made into a movie. <laughs> Silly George, we're not seeing that scary ghost movie. Ours is really fun and not scary. Scary ghost <laughs> movies are only for grown-ups. Uh, oh, excuse me. Excuse Sorry. me. Oh. Uh, oh. Sorry. <sighs> <sighs> the seats in the cinema all fold up when they're not being used. But George's seat is folding up when he's sitting in it. Excuse me. Coming through. Watch your toes. Luckily, Miss Rabbit has a special booster to hold the seat flat. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. No problem. Me again. <gasps> Who spilled popcorn? <laughs> George doesn't like it when the cinema gets dark. Whish, whish. Yay, it's starting. <gasps> <laughs> George doesn't like the loud sounds either. <gasps> it's the baddie. Yeah, oh dear. George thinks the baddie in the movie is a bit scary. Maybe we should take George outside. But you can't miss the movie. Peppa has thought of a way to make the baddie less scary for George. Hello, George. It's me. I'm just pretending to be a buddy for the movie. I'm not really scary. Not scary? No. And this magic wand oh. will keep you extra safe. Wish! <laughs> <laughs> Plus, at the end of the story, everyone lives happily ever after. Ooh, happy! <laughs> Whoosh! Shh! <gasps> Sorry! Everyone <laughs> loves going to the cinema, <laughs> and George really loves movies with happy endings. Hello! Everybody! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have come to a concert of Madame Gazelle's band, the Rocking Gazelles. I can't see anything. How about now? Hooray! Thank you! <laughs> oh dear. Gerald Giraffe is also on his daddy's shoulders and is blocking everyone's view. Oh! Hi, Peppa! Hi, George! Gerald and his daddy have moved to the side, so now everyone can see. With a one and two and one, two.
two, three, four! Yay! Everyone is having a wonderful time. Peppa and Daddy Pig are really enjoying the music. Are you having fun, Peppa? Yes! Are you having fun, George? George? Peppa and Daddy Pig have accidentally ended up <laughs> in the middle of the crowd. We'll come and find you soon, Mummy Pig. What? I said we'll come and find you soon. But I don't need a spoon. Have fun, George. Whee! Everyone is dancing. It's like being in a big dancing swimming pool. Ho, ho, ho. There are even some inflatable beach balls. Got it. Well done, Peppa. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> oh. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Bull. Sorry, Madam Gazelle. Not to worry. Happens all the time. That's okay. I love pop music. In fact, it reminds me of my next song. One, two, three, four. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles all day. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping, bubbles, popping away. Mummy and George Pig have danced all the way to the front of the concert, too. Madame Gazelle has invited Peppa and her family to join them on stage. <laughs> pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping bubbles all day. Hooray! Yay! Everyone loves Madame Gazelle's concert, and everyone really loves pop pop popping bubbles. Welcome oh. to the ice cream shop. Oh. It is a very <gasps> hot day, so Peppa and George are playing ice cream shop. Here you go, oh. Mr. Daddy Pig. Oh, thank you. What would you like, Mrs. Mummy Pig? I'd like a banana split, please. Hooray! Oh. Ooh! What's a banana split, Granny? <laughs> it's a type of dessert. First, we need to cut a banana in half. Nana! Oh! Ho, 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 ho! Now we add ice cream, cherries and whipped cream. Ah. George <laughs> likes adding the ice cream. Careful! Don't squish the banana. <laughs> <laughs> and Peppa really likes adding whipped cream. <laughs> Don't forget the cherry on top. Here is your banana split, Mrs. Mummy Pig. <laughs> this looks delicious. <laughs> Oh, please could I have a Knickerbocker Glory? Uh -huh. A Knockanori? What's that, madam? Ho, ho, ho. Uh -huh. It's a type of ice cream sundae. Can you only eat them on Sundays? Oh. Ho, ho, not that type of sundae. You can eat them any time. Uh -huh. I'll show you. Uh -huh. We need ice cream, fruit, Meringue and cream. <laughs> Peppa and George add all the ingredients into the glass. Oh. And now you can decorate the top. Yay! Then decorate with wafers, colourful sprinkles and sauce. Here you are, ah, madam. This looks wonderful. <laughs> now everyone has been served, what kind of ice cream would you two like? Hmm. A rainbow one. Rainbow. Peppa and George use lots of different <laughs> coloured ice cream. Pink for strawberry, brown for chocolate, yellow for <laughs> banana. Nana. Then they add their toppings. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Let's mix it all together. Um. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. Peppa and George have mixed all the colours together. We've made a muddy puddle. <gasps> Not rainbow ice cream. I'm afraid we don't have much ice cream left. All we have is... Vanilla. My favourite. <laughs> Peppa and George like making special ice creams, but they love vanilla ice cream the most. A super strike for a super bowler. Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> I want to get a super strike too. I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. OK. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese! Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead. Like this. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> Try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa. Hmm. Oh. Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Oh. Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lane. Whoops! My turn. Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Hmm. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Try Pedro. Okay, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. <laughs> oh, this is fun! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. <laughs> But Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> Watch this. Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler. <laughs> Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. Today, Mummy Pig is going for a relaxing day at the spa. Oh, sorry, Mummy Pig. I've got to close early today. I've got the sniffles. Oh, I was really looking forward to my spa day. Why don't we make a spa at home? Oh, that's a great idea, Peppa. Peppa is very good at having ideas. Hello, Mrs Mummy. Welcome to the spa. Oh. <laughs> Peppa has turned the living room into a very wow. special spa. First, we are going to, um... What happens at the spa, Mummy? Well, we normally start with a nice cup of lemon water. I can do that. I'll get you some lemony water, <laughs> Mrs Mummy. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Thank you, Peppa. This is the lemoniest water I've ever seen. What's next? Next, I'd like to have a foot bath. Yay! Hey! What's a foot bath? It's a very small bath just for your feet. 
OK, time for your very small bath just for your feet, Mrs Mummy. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> Peppa and Daddy Pig are making their very own foot bath. This ought to do the trick. Ah, oh, that's so relaxing. <gasps> Peppa has turned the foot bath into a regular bath. Yeah. Here are the boats you ordered, Miss Peppa. <laughs> you have to have bubbles and toys in the bath. <laughs> Wonderful! I'll suggest this to Miss Rabbit. What's next, Mummy? Next, it's time for a massage. Uh, um... Here, lie down on the sofa and I'll show you how it works. Peppa finds the massage very tickly. Your turn, Mummy. Ooh, <laughs> it's <laughs> very different to my normal massage. It's a special pepper <laughs> massage. Doo -doo. Now, the last thing I do at the spa is have a mud mask, which is... A mask made of mud. Yes, a special spa mud that's good for your skin. I don't think we have any special spa mud here, though. I've got an idea. Pepper is very, <laughs> very good at having ideas. We don't need spa mud when we've got muddy puddles! <laughs> <laughs> They're just like muddy puddle face masks. <laughs> Peppa loves a spa day, especially when it involves jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Mandy Mouse, Gerald Giraffe and Danny Dog are playing football. Look, Mummy, my friends are playing football. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play with us? Yes, please. Whoever scores the best goal wins the trophy. Ooh. Peppa loves shiny trophies. Do you want to join our team, Peppa? No, thank you. I will play on my own. I don't think you should play on your own, Peppa. But then I can win the trophy all for myself. Peppa is going to play all on her own against everyone else. Ah! Oh, dear. Good try, Peppa. Have another go. Hmm. Maybe I need to kick it harder. <gasps> um, almost. Here you go, Pepper. Maybe if I use my other foot. Whoa! Oof. You have to score with the ball, not your shoe. Squeak! Hmm, this is too hard. Why don't you have a go in goal? Good idea, Mummy. I'll be a great goalie. Wow! Goal! Mummy, why can they score a goal but I can't? Because, Peppa, football is all about teamwork. And you can't work as a team if you don't have a team in the first place. <laughs> um, can I join your team, please? Of course you can. We've got a spare shirt just for you. Woof, woof. Hooray! But who will play in goal? I will. Just you try and get past me. <laughs> <laughs> you scored the goal, Pedro, so you get the trophy. But we all scored the goal together, Peppa. As a team. That's right. You all win the trophy. <laughs> Today, Peppa 
and her family are visiting the botanical garden. <laughs> One's tall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> These smell lovely. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, and that one is on oh. Daddy's head. <laughs> <laughs> Step right up to the very oh. tricky hedge maze. Enter if you dare. What's this, Miss Rabbit? This is a very tricky hedge maze. It's a long, windy path with lots of twisty turns. You have to find the big fountain in the middle. Peppa and George like the sound of the very tricky maze. I'm a bit of an expert at mazes. I almost never get lost. <laughs> Good luck. Let's go. Hooray! Peppa and her family are making their way through the maze. It is very windy. Everyone thinks it is very fun indeed. There's nowhere to go. Oh dear. We'll have to go back and try another way, Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig? <gasps> Over here, Mummy Pig. George and I must have taken a wrong turn. Uh-oh. Perhaps we should meet at the fountain in the middle. Good idea. <laughs> Race you! <laughs> <laughs> Look, oh. Mummy. More tall flowers. And little ones. <laughs> Peppa and Mummy Pig are having lots of fun in the maze, but Daddy and George are a bit lost. <sighs> Not to worry, George. We'll make it as long as we don't give up. Oh, hello, huh? George. The fountain is that way, by the big leafy flowers. Hooray! Off we go! Everyone has arrived at the centre oh. of the maze. Hooray! Well done. You finished the first <gasps> bit of the maze oh. very quickly. What's the second bit? Finding your way out, of course. <gasps> <laughs> Peppa and her family loved going into the very tricky hedge maze. And they're really going to love finding their way out again, too. That's how you play shuffleboard. My puck landed at the bottom, so I get one point. Wow. Today on the cruise, Peppa and her family are learning to play shuffleboard. Now, Grandpa Pig can either knock my puck away or slide his into the triangle and get points. Let's give it a go. Grandpa Pig has knocked Granny Pig's puck into George's sand. That's two points for me. Can I try next? Yes. Use this cue stick and push the puck into the triangle. Hmm. Oh. It didn't move very much. Why don't you try giving yourself a running start? Good idea. Pepper is taking a big uh... runner. But the sand is very slippery. <laughs> I didn't get any points. Not to worry. It's about having fun, not scoring points. Besides, no one is an expert their first time. <laughs> well Good done, show. George. I'll <laughs> just have to keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa is trying lots of different ways of sliding the puck. Whoa! Oh, my ice cream! Uh -huh. But uh. nothing seems to be working. <laughs> Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh. 
At least you missed my ice cream cone this time. Whoa! Oh, dear. My turn, Peppa. Here you go, Granny. <sniffs> ah! Granny's puck has pushed Peppa's puck into the triangle. I got three points! Hooray! Peppa <laughs> is very excited ah. to keep practicing. But there are no pucks left to play with. Oh. <laughs> George has used them to complete his sandcastle. Everyone loves playing shuffleboard, but George loves making sandcastles even more. Today, Peppa and her family are exploring an air show. Miss Rabbit is flying a hot air balloon. The sky is full of hot air balloons. Wow, there's so many of them. A cloud, a broccoli, a clown, a dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good, George. What's that? That is a biplane, Pepper. What is it doing? Some planes can write messages or draw in the sky. The biplane has drawn a picture of Pepper in the sky. <laughs> it's me! Everybody. Hello, Hello Dr. Dr. Hamster. Hamster. Thank you for the sky picture. You're very <laughs> welcome. Off I go. <laughs> What's this? Is that another hot air balloon? This is a blimp. It floats like a balloon but has little propellers that help it fly along like a plane. Peppa and George think the blimp is very exciting. Would you all like a ride? Blimp, blimp, blimp! The blimp is taking off into the sky. We're so high up. This is the captain's announcement. In the sky, you'll see a bird. Hello, birds! A cloud. <laughs> Hello, clouds! Oh, and Dr. <gasps> Hamster. Hello again! There's so many buttons. Oh, yes. It takes lots of work to pilot a blimp like this. So please don't press any buttons. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this steering wheel helps move the blimp in different directions. Up and down and side to side. <laughs> and the radio Ooh. lets us make announcements to the whole air show. Ooh, can I make a pronouncement? I have a very important pronouncement to make. Of course. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. I'm in a blimp, which is a bit like a balloon but also a plane. <laughs> I hope you all have a lovely time at the air show. Oh dear, we've forgotten one very important oh. thing. A pilot hat <laughs> for Pepper and George. I'm Pilot Pepper. Pilot! Pepper loves the air show. Everyone loves the air show. <laughs> Are volcanoes real, Madam Gazelle? They are. Ooh. But do not worry, children. There are no volcanoes close by. Hooray! Except the little pretend ones that we are going to make for today's very special science experiment. Oh. We will make our volcanoes using glue and newspaper. Like this. First, you dip the paper in the glue. And then you stick it all to the beaker, and voila! A volcano! Everyone is enjoying making their volcanoes. The glue is very sticky and messy. <laughs> and soon they are all finished. <laughs> Wonderful, children! Now it is time to paint your creations. <laughs> Let's make ours red, Peppa. Ours can be blue! Green, like a big tree. Real volcanoes are dark and grey with red lava. But Peppa and her friends are making their mini volcanoes bright and colourful. <laughs> 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 
Now it is time for the science experiment. But first, everyone must put on special gloves, glasses and coats to make sure they are safe. You all look like wonderful scientists, children. Now we are ready to make lava. <gasps> but do not worry. The lava we are making is just pretend and very safe. Phew! <laughs> First, we add some vinegar to our volcanoes. Be careful not to spill. Uh, uh, mm. Perfect. And now, I will add a secret magic ingredient to each of your volcanoes. Nobody knows what the special magic ingredient is. Finally, take your cup of baking soda and pour a little inside the volcano. Then stand back! Madame Gazelle's volcano is erupting, just like a real volcano. Your turn, children. Hooray! <laughs> wow! The lava is red! Ours is blue! Candy Cat and Gerald Giraffe's lava is green and very foamy. Lava. No, Candy. You made a muddy puddle. Everyone loves making volcanoes, but everyone really loves making colourful muddy puddles. Peppa and her family have bought lots of food at the supermarket. And now they have very rumbly tummies. <laughs> What's for dinner? My tummy's making lots of noises. Tonight, we're making tacos. Yay! What's a tacto? And how do you make them? <laughs> it's a delicious food from Mexico. And the best way to make tacos is all together. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig are washing vegetables for their tacos. Let's make sure the vegetables are nice and clean. Splish, splash, wish, wash, wash the veggies clean. Splish, splash, wish, wash, wash the veggies clean. <laughs> splish, splash, splish, splash. Now, Pepper and Mummy Pig are nice and clean too. Now the vegetables are clean, we can carefully slice some onions. Here you go, Daddy. <laughs> What's wrong, Daddy? Don't you like onions? Oh, don't worry, Peppa. The juice from the onions sometimes makes your eyes water. I just need something to cover my eyes. I know. Peppa knows a perfect way to protect their eyes from the onions. These are perfect, Peppa. Ah, onions again, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll make some guacamole. Hooray! I love guacamole. <laughs> then you can mash the avocado, Peppa. Peppa likes <laughs> mashing the avocado. It's very fun and messy. Oops! <laughs> Perhaps try a bit more gently, Peppa. Perfect. Now we mix in other ingredients. <laughs> And add a very special squeeze of lime. Squeeze! <laughs> All right, George. You can add the special squeeze. Yay! Oh, it's a good job I'm wearing my safety goggles. <laughs> now all the ingredients are ready, it's time to put the tacos together. This is the best bit. Take your tortilla like this. And add your favourite ingredients. <laughs> Peppa likes her taco with lots of guacamole. George likes his taco empty. Mummy and Daddy Pig like their tacos with everything. Mm. Everyone thinks the tacos are very tasty. <gasps> but they've all dropped their filling. Hooray! Now we can put them together again. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Peppa and her playgroup are doing a fun run to raise money for a new school bell. Is everybody ready to run? <laughs> <laughs>
Ready. Ready. Okay. On your marks, get set, go! Woo <laughs> oh. oh dear, it has started to rain and nobody wants to run in the rain. Should we do the race another day when it's not so cloudy and rainy? Except for Pepper. But the rain will make the fun run even more fun. There'll be so many muddy puddles. Yay! All right. That means on your marks again, get set again, and... Go again. <laughs> the rain has made a small puddle on the running track. But Rebecca Rabbit is very good at jumping. I did it! Oh. Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Rebecca. <laughs> That's OK, Peppa. Oh. Oh. Come along, you two. Lots of race to go. <laughs> the wind is making it hard for Susie and Mummy Sheep to climb the hill. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah, I know! Oh. <sighs> Emily Elephant is very good at pulling things with her trunk. The way down looks very muddy. Yep, so it's fun to slide down. And Whee! Pepper is very good at sliding in the mud. <laughs> Pepper and Daddy Pig have arrived at the ah. big trees. Oh. Everyone must crawl <laughs> under the low branches to finish the race. <laughs> oh, oh, that does look fun. <laughs> Whee! Everyone has made it to the finish line. We have raised enough money to fix the school bell. Hooray! Oh. Oh. Mr. Bull will fix it tomorrow. Hooray! Did you have fun, Daddy? Daddy? Everyone loves running in the rain. Come on, Peppa. We're going again. But Daddy Pig really <laughs> loves running in the rain. Peppa and her family are out in the car. Oh. But they're having a bit of trouble. Oh, dear. The car won't start. You've broken down. Oh. Don't worry. I'll take you to the garage. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Mr Bull is towing the car away to be fixed. George and Peppa like being towed. Hmm. Aha! Oh, dear. I see. Well, we can fix it. Oh, good. But we'll have to order a new part. It won't be easy or cheap. Oh, oh. oh dear. How long will it take? It will take oh, as long as it takes. But how will I get to work? There's lots of cars you can use while yours is being fixed. Follow me. There's lots of spare cars at the garage. Pick any one you like. <gasps> A motorbike. This is perfect. Oh. Let's take it for a test drive. Whee! Daddy Pig likes riding the motorbike. Hello. But motorbikes don't keep you dry in the rain. Hmm. Maybe we need something a bit tougher. Let's try this. Pepper has found a monster truck, which is very tough. <laughs> I think a monster truck might be a bit too tough for what we need. Sorry. 
what about something nice and spacious, like this Ooh. bus? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Mummy Pig likes the bus very much. Ooh. Ah. It's ever so roomy and peaceful. Oh, dear. But everyone thinks it's a real bus. There's only one car left for Peppa and her family to try. It's a bit smelly. That's because it's my lorry for collecting the recycling. So you can't take that one, I'm afraid. I'm not sure we'll ever find a car as perfect as our car. <laughs> well, that's lucky. You took so long to pick a new car that we managed to fix your old one. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bull. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Peppa's family like driving different cars, but they like driving their family car most of all. Today, Peppa and George are going for a picnic with <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Nearly there! <laughs> it's Peppa's first time being in charge of packing the picnic. Are you OK, Peppa? I need to bring all my toys for the picnic. But they won't fit. Hmm. Do you need all of your toys? Uh, I know. I can just bring Teddy instead. Dinosaur! <laughs> and dinosaur. Wonderful. We won't have space for the food if we bring all your toys. What kind of food would you like to make for the picnic, Peppa? Oh, let's make spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti is not very good picnic food. How about sandwiches? I love sandwiches too. <laughs> what is your favourite kind of sandwich? Jam! <laughs> Pepper, George and Granny Pig are making Yay! jam sandwiches. Will we need anything else for the picnic, Pepper? Um... We need a comfy picnic blanket. Can you find one, Grandpa? Aye, aye, Peppa. <laughs> oh, no. Making jam sandwiches is very messy. And cleaning the mess has made an even bigger mess. Not to worry. You can't make jam sandwiches without getting a little jammy. <laughs> Pepper's sandwiches are triangles. Ta-da! And George's are dinosaurs. <laughs> Got the blanket. Ah. Do we need anything else, Pepper? Hmm. We need cups for our orange juice. Done, Peppa. Looks like we're ready to go. This is going to be so oh. much fun. Oh no, it's raining. Picnics are not as fun in the rain. Oh dear, I think our outdoor picnic will have to wait, oh. Peppa. Oh. But why don't we have an indoor picnic instead? Yay! Peppa has set up her picnic indoors. Now we can have a picnic even when it's raining. And all my toys can come too. Picnic! <laughs> Everyone loves Peppa's picnic and Peppa loved packing it for them. Hey! Hi! <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, everyone! Today, Peppa and Mummy Pig have come to Miss Rabbit's yoga class. Namaste, everyone! Uh... Namaste oh. is how you say hello in a yoga class. Please take off your shoes and find a mat. Does anyone know what yoga is? Is it where you balance on one leg? Or when you bend into funny shapes? Almost. Yoga is a fun kind of exercise that helps you feel zen. Hmm. Which means relaxed. Oh. oh, we'd like to be zen. Please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's start with some breathing. Everyone close your eyes and breathe in slowly through your nose. 
One, two, three, and out through your mouths. One, two, three. Everyone is finding breathing One, very two, relaxing. Three, but Emily and her out. mummy's trunks One, two, are making little three. whistle sounds. <laughs> now let's do some stretching. Reach up high into the sky. <laughs> and bend down and touch your toes. <laughs> Pepper, Danny and Emily are all very good at stretching. But the grown-ups are finding it a little trickier. You're very good at yoga, Mr Bull. I've had lots of practice. And relax. <sighs> Everyone lay down on your front, then lift your chest up. This is called Cobra Pose. Oh. Is this right? That's perfect. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't need to do the sounds. Now place your hands and feet on the ground and your hips up as high as you can like this. This is called Downward Dog. That's perfect, Danny. You're a natural. Finally, everyone stand up straight, put your hands together and lift one leg to the other leg. This is called Tree Pose. Peppa loves all the poses. But balancing is quite hard. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. My tree was a bit wobbly. No need to apologise, Peppa. Yoga is to help feel relaxed and zen. And nothing ah. is more relaxing than a good giggle. Peppa loves yoga class. And Peppa really loves laughing. <laughs>